He's gonna get in trouble. That trail's not wide enough. Now well, he made it. <laughs> Five or six at least. Those stumps would have moved there in fall of 18. And that when you moved, moved in, and we built it. And that was either the septic people. I think it was. Uh, or. Uh, Rich. He couldn't have moved both of those. Well, he could roll them, which is what he, well, he could have been one of the other guys, yeah. I'm thinking the water guy. Oh, uh, Reed, is that his name? Yeah, no, yeah, no. No, Reed was a septic. <laughs> You're not all the way through. Pardon me? You aren't all the way through. Are you sure? Yeah. Sure look like it. Not from here.
to get to. Look at that wood, man. Look at that wood. <laughs> Water in the south spot again. This had all dried up until last night's inch and a half. No mail, but look at all the flowers. Daisies. I don't know what this is. Very common. You know, I should look it up, huh? I just hate to walk out here even. Well, doggy, you're not going any farther. You're picking up ticks. And I have kept you out of the field on purpose for the last two, three weeks because of it. Brute thug and his hench people. One off to the side. Very beginning of a flower. They are beautiful flowers. And next year, I now know to cut out all of these dead stalks. They won't grow back. How unsightly this is. I'm humiliated. Oh. I've been waiting to see what this is going to become. A flower, obviously. I was resting my eyes for the last 45 minutes, dozing, so, sort of. And it suddenly occurred to me, I can split wood. I've got wood to split now. And it's waiting for me. And some of it's even been stripped of the bark. Bark. The temperature is 73 degrees. It's not humid. What hindereth thou? Look at her. She knows right where they're at, where we're at. I'm sorry. I'm not going there. Neither are you. I'm sorry, sweetie. Dear flies. I started. And they started a week ago, but hardly enough to notice. But now she's got them on her ears. Come here. Hey. Come here. Oops, <laughs> can you see that? I can't show you because it's on the lens of the camera. Big splotches of blood. Not even I'm going to go that far. Ironically, I just cleaned this lens with lens cleaner and a tissue. There we go.
That was the beginning of a mouse nest. First I thought the wind had circulated the leaves up and off. Ah, I think it was the beginning of a nest. I'm sorry. See the difference in having the bark off there? Huge difference! We're going down to Otter Pond to see what the water level is after last night's inch and a half of rain. Guess who doesn't want to come down there because probably of the deer flies that are now in season. Look at all the new grass. All of this, all of that. Oh, look at that. The one on the left I just put in there yesterday and there is two inches of water. Good. And there are mosquitoes. Well, I don't expect it to ever hit the high water mark stick this year. That would be, well, that would be a problem. I mean, we got huge flooding. So I like seeing it coming up from the rain we just had, keep things ebbing and flowing. Let's go check the fire and see how that is holding up. I had thought about coming down here mid-afternoon and getting it refired, but uh, no. And this is good because it's burning out. Anybody want some birch bark? 50 cents a ton. All right. A nickel a ton. But you pick it up. These look like a show place. They are five feet tall. These are. But these... And those are six feet tall. Quite impressive. Oh my.
I just noticed these. This was the one that was virtually dead. And this is the one that was doing okay after I transplanted them and forgot to water them after a couple days. <laughs> That's doing very well.